Try playing with 15 years with no parole like I did in prison. Tell me about that release. Because years ago, we played with our heart, with our guts. We gave our life. There's so many great players at Rucker, man. What began as a limited expression has grown into a national phenomenon. People came to Rucker years ago and thought they had games and never played again after the game they played in Rucker. The beauty of streetball is it lets your imagination run wild. Every thought creates another thought, creates an action. An action creates a habit. And that's what basketball is about. This movie is important because paying homage to a lot of guys that people have forgotten about or don't even know about that have made the sport of basketball what it is today. Some of the fathers of the sport that we're talking about that made these tremendous influences, we're talking from the 50s, you got T. Parham, Clyde Gross, Will Chamberlain. You go to the 60s, now you're talking uh, Connie Hawkins. Then you bring it up to the 70s, you got Dr. J, Pee Wee Kirkland, Joe Hammond. You know, you're talking about the street legends, some of whom made it onto bigger platforms, some of whom never made it onto bigger platforms, but they certainly made the bigger platforms more possible. These guys are the benefactors of a, of a continual lineage that was created all the way from the 40s and 50s. For example, Connie Hawkins influenced Dr. J. Dr. J then turned around and influenced what became Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan then turned around and influenced who became Kobe Bryant and then LeBron James. And it will continue and there will be another and another and another. Without who we're calling the father of the sport, the NBA simply wouldn't be what it is today. You're talking about guys who brought individuality, flair, style, and creativity to the sport of basketball. Professional game, the collegiate game that's current today was influenced by the playground. All the razzle-dazzle that came to those games that makes it entertaining, that made everyone want to everyone wanna buy tickets, all came from the playground. Now we have an opportunity to hear the story firsthand, straight from the horse's mouth. So these, let these guys tell exactly what happened, how it happened, and how it affected them in their lives. The ball bounces, the crowd roars. And at the same time, we hear shots from the Vietnam War. To not love myself, I would have to be foolish. Turning the 